Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Bitcoin crash to 10,000 or lower channel. I don't want that to happen, but unfortunately it's going to. Luna 2.0 crashes again, just like the Luna Classic or the first attempt at a stable coin backed by an algorithm. And Tether is going to go the same way as Luna. Unfortunately, it's not backed by reserves that would, would, would enable it to withstand tens of billions of dollars in, in institutions withdrawing money. So it, Tether, for example, went down to 95 cents. You have to ask yourself, why did it go down to 95 cents the other week after 7 to $10 billion in withdrawals? In addition to that, I mean, you're looking at everything from Coinbase going under. Coinbase, leaders net $1.2 billion in share sales. So you have insiders trading $1.2 billion dollars uh, New York Stock Exchange owner ICE sold Coinbase stake for $1.2 billion. So people are selling, um, this was in April of 2021. That was in April of 2021, right after the IPO. So, you know, the largest, smartest, the largest institutions initially were making money. But now you have insiders selling. So two days ago on the Wall Street Journal, Coinbase leaders net $1.2 billion in shares. What does this have to do with Luna? The whole thing is imploding. Luna 2.0 is like Enron 2.0 or the Titanic 2.0 or the Hindenburg 2.0. It's something that you really don't want to be a part of. I don't know why people want to take money and put it into a, a, sh a paper shredder, but that's what's taking place. By the way, go to my live stream, H. A. Goodman, right now, late evening live stream at 11 p.m. But I wanted to do a couple quick segments, one on this channel, the Stock Market Crash channel, and one on, uh, sorry, one, this is the Bitcoin Crash to 10,000 or below channel. And the, the next segment I'm going to do is on the Stock Market Crash channel. Watch, you know, share this, please, everywhere, and watch the Stock Market Crash channel segment, and also go to the live stream on H.A. Goodman right now. It, it'll be, that's my third today on that channel. So it's almost 200,000 subs on that channel. But here, Luna launches with Rocky Start. Uh, this is an article. Luna, Luna Reboot uh, plummets over 70% just hours after debut. After peaking at $19.54 early on Saturday, it's been mostly downhill. So, I mean, this is a catastrophe. It's an absolute catastrophe. And it's not something that I want to take place. But Terra, Terraforms Labs early Saturday launched a new version of the Terra blockchain, Terra 2.0, with freshly minted Luna tokens. When, 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 like, I know I'm new, relatively new into this. I wouldn't say I'm in the crypto world. Like, this channel and the stock market crash channel, they're an extension of my political views, my political philosophy. Okay. A bubble was created primarily by the Democratic Party media, bureaucrats, unelected officials, and the smartest people in the room, experts, multinational organizations. The bubble, the, 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 the bubble was started when the economy, well, the initial reason the bubble was created, the economy was, people forced the economy, or bureaucrats, Democrats, and media forced the economy to completely lock and shut down. And countries that did this now have record highs in inflation. Okay. So countries that did this are now experiencing record highs in inflation. And they're experiencing recession. Either they're in a recession or they're about to be in one. Negative economic growth, inflation, and commodity prices through the roof. And so in every segment in this channel and the stock market crash channel, all you have to, all you have to look at is like what happened two years ago, the repercussions of what happened two years ago, the apoplectic hysterical response to a serious issue. And... That inflated a bubble with $10 trillion pumped into the economy through fiscal and monetary stimulus. Now, we're not even getting into the DeFi scams, the 10 to $12 billion in decentralized finance scams. I mean, this is like, you have DeFi as one of the visionary, you know, utopias or possibilities or scenarios for crypto. 10%, or roughly 10%, is just scams and theft and, and basic, like, highway robbery within the decentralized finance world. That's according to CNBC, the $12 billion. It's only about a $112 billion industry. Or $106 billion. Then you have Coinbase going under. 
they're confiscating accounts. They've lost $400 million last quarter. They burned through one plus billion dollars in cash. They only have about $3 billion in cash, including their long-term debts. Tether is going to go under. Bitcoin's going to get to 10000 or below. Very likely lower than 10000 and oh, what, I can tell, what can I tell you? Luna 2.0 is like the worst idea known to mankind. It's just a way to shred money and throw money into like a fire pit. I, I don't understand why people do it, but they want to lose their money. I don't get it. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe to this channel right now. Share this segment everywhere, people, and be on my live stream tonight. Well, right now in a couple of minutes at 11 p.m. Pacific. Thank you. On H.A. Goodman. The link is below.